Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is armor. Epstreda. Asandian Kalad. Es diser Frieden. Nord est Ulf Heiden. En Meras. Es sedrug Meras. Die Emperor shall guide us to a Dunomiga. We must requisition a share of your heart. Why, Your Excellency? I know there is little left in your grounds. Barbarians. But soldiers are men too, and so they will eat, correct? Why, Your Excellency? How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already. Including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands? Or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira. 
An herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actin. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night, she was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Eating a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. I've agreed to kill the Griffin. No more victims after I do. There will be, of course. With the griffin gone, others will kill in its stead. Monsters, or men. So what do you think I should do? Apply your trade. But don't think you can change anything. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. Oh yes, the griffin. Might have guessed. I was thinking, a few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar, something, something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you. But this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time.
Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed. But... You saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. Tis so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hut. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He was to be, because next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He was right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, 
only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, but he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here's for the road. Fry up a nice white fish. From Damn, dear, stick the bark up the trees again. Anyone home? Must be out hunting.
trails fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh... I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. Dog, a kick in pot. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Don't have to, then. So, can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Uh, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. 
Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians probably. nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. <laughs> <laughs> 